So you saw our video about intercepting satellite communications, but then you saw the price of the gear and you got a little discouraged. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to do it on the extreme cheap. So in the video about intercepting pirate and drug runner communications, I had some people reach out to me and I actually had a buddy who saw the video before it was published say, this is great, but the gear that you have is just crazy, crazy expensive. And it is expensive, but it is the proper setup to use for this. So I was asked, can we do it for less? Like what it was the cheapest option that this could be done with? And the answer is, yeah, we can do it for less. But before we get into that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can get more great content like this. Again, this is just the lighter side of security. Nothing super, super serious. We might cover, you know, a few serious topics, but if you wanna have fun and talk about the fun side of security, click that like and subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell notification. With that being said, we have the ability to do what we did in the, in the video with intercepting the satellite communication cheaper. You'll need four items. The first item you're going to need is going to be some type of computer, whether that be a Android device or a Windows laptop. Sorry, Apple users, there's just nothing easily available for you on your iPhone device to use the radio interface which we wanna use or actually any radio interface that I know of. If I'm wrong and you know how to make an SCR work with a uh, iPhone, let me know in the comments below. I'd be super, super interested. The next item that we're going to need is if we're using an Android device, an OTG cable. So USB-C to uh, USB-A OTG cable. And this allows us to then connect our radio interface. And the radio interface that we will be using is gonna be the RTL SDR. With that, we are then going to need some type of an antenna. Now, we can use a disc cone antenna, which is gonna be the cheapest option. You can get them for about $50. Uh, they do go up in price from there. But it's not the most reliable. If you wanna spend a little bit more, you can actually get a smaller UHF military SATCOM antenna. They can be found in between the ranges of, you know, $100 to $300. The one that I have, I picked up for a screaming deal and that was around $200. Once we have all these pieces put together, we can start the RTL software. Now for Android, we're gonna need two pieces for this. We're gonna need the RTL SDR drivers which is free. And then we're gonna need the RF analyzer application, which is also free. We start up this application and we hit play and we'll say, hey, like you have a problem. You're not using the hack RF, no source found. That's fine, we'll go to settings, we'll change that. So once we do that, we hit play, we type in the frequency that we want. I already was exploring with this, so it's on the correct frequency range. And then we can see our signal. So let's see what that looks like. So there you go, intercepting drug runners and Gulf Pirate radio communications that they are actually broadcasting off a Navy satellite illegally and we're able to do it well with under $100, assuming you already have a Windows laptop or a Android device. If you don't, you can get a cheap Android device uh, new for about $100. I'm sure you can get other ones used. Uh, regardless, this is a cheaper alternative to uh, capturing these signals. And it is the method I would recommend if you're just getting into software-defined radio. A lot of people ask what type of software to find radio I should get as my first software to find radio. And I like to steer people to the RTL SDR because a lot of the work that you're gonna be doing in the beginning is going to be around receiving only and playing with those received signals. You don't really transmit until a little while later, at least that's how I approach my SDR 
you know, journey, as well as how I know many, many other very talented researchers also started in the STR world was playing around with more receiving signals than transmitting signals. So save yourself quite a bit of money, get a RTL STR. Now, if you're someone who's just like, hey, I don't care, like I want this now, I want the best, I, I just want everything that I can get, then step up to a USRP or a Blade RF. And then if you wanna go above and beyond that, you know, that's a different video for a different discussion. The USRP and the Blade RF are not the high end of software-defined radio. In fact, uh, they're still what I would consider the hobbyist or academic end of software-defined radio. Professional software-defined radios come with quite a bit more features as well as cost quite a bit more. And they have some unique form factors which make them extremely useful for their target market, which is mostly either higher end commercial or military applications. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Again, seeing the lighter side of security, the more fun side uh, of aspects of security. If you liked it, give it a like. If you disliked it, just pretend you didn't see it. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notifications, and let me know what you've done with your software-defined radio. As always, stay safe and happy hacking.